Hey guys, Traveling Kimchi here. So if you've been following me for quite a while, you know that last year during the 2013-2014 turnover, I went over my bucket list with you guys. And actually my bucket list is something that I created when I was teaching in Korea. Um, I did it as a lesson in future tense, so you know, like, I will do something and stuff like that. So it's a really cool uh, lesson plan if you're a teacher. And I ended up making this one as an example to show the students what, like, bucket lists look like, what can be on it, stuff like that. And I ended up liking it so much that I kept it. And one of the good things about writing a bucket list is that science has proven that if you write down your goals, you're more likely to accomplish them or stick with them. And another thing about a bucket list is that if you publicize your goals, so writing it like ups, I don't know the exact percentage, but it ups it percent, and then if you publish your goals, like you share your goals with people like talking, or you put the written goals somewhere where a lot of people can see them, oh, well not a lot, but other people can see them, like your friends and family, it umps your, um, it umps your uh, percentage of accomplishing these goals more. And so I thought it was like, it was really interesting read, and so I thought I would just keep this bucket list to not only every year go through my list and cross out what I had accomplished, but also to, to write in things that I, some goals that I had created for that year. So today I'm gonna, it being 2015 and all, I'm gonna go through my bucket list again and see what I accomplished this year and go ahead and add a couple more goals that I created this past year. So I messed up when I record this, I accidentally crossed out two things before I turned on my video camera. <laughs> so we'll look at it again, but anyways, number one was work for Pixar. Now one of the cool things about this is I don't work for Pixar obviously yet, but I did apply to work at Pixar, so we'll see if they ever get back to me. Um, travel for class, learn second language, write a mechanical bull. I actually haven't done anything on the left side until number 23, which is zip line through the jungle, which is one of the things I crossed out by accident before my video was going. I'm so sorry, guys. But then we'll just put a double line through just to make sure it's out. And I did do this at the Dominican Republic with two friends of mine, but I would like to zip th line through, like, a uh, tropical jungle. And that would be really, really cool. So that was something I'd like to do to add on to that zipline through a jungle. Um, at the top of the right side, number 26 is visit Japan and wear a kimono, which is the second thing I crossed it, but we'll double cross it just to make sure. Um, so in 2014, I did go to Japan with a friend of mine, and we were in Kyoto when we tried out the Maiko experience. And I actually made a video about it. If you guys didn't see it, I'll put the link below. But it was a really, really cool experience if you're ever in Kyoto or in Japan, they have it in all the cities. Um, check it out, it was really, really fun. 27, go to the Red Square in Russia, I did not accomplish that. Accomplish that. 23, see the pyramids of Egypt, one day. Um, 29, relax on a beach at Thailand. This one I did, I did this one. Oh, it was so much fun. I went with one of my friends from high school and it was the first time he was out of the country and it was such a great, trip it was so much fun to not only I crossed out the wrong one oh my god did you guys see that oh ah! oh my god I crossed out to the pyramids I guess I have to go see the pyramids now oh relax on a beach in Thailand uh oh okay I'll put a dot by the Egypt one. Oh my god but anyways it was a really cool experience um not only to see Thailand but to get my friend out of the country for the first time in his life that was really really cool um number 30 hold a koala in Australia? Nope, didn't do that one yet. I would love to see Australia, though. 31, go to Burning Man. 32, see the Northern Lights, Alaska. Oh my god, that's one of my big ones. 33 is go to Broadway, New York. This one I did this year. I did with it with one of my friends. Make sure I'm crossing out the right one right now. Um, I went with one of my friends that I actually met in Korea, and I met him. He was actually in LA, and we both met each other. In Pennsylvania, did a little trip. It was, I went from Pennsylvania to D.C. to New York. And it was really, really fun. It was uh, it was one of the best trips I've ever had. If you didn't see the video, a uh, lip sync video I made with my friend during that trip, um, the link is below. Please check it out. It was a really cool trip. And if you've never been, so much fun. New York was great. I really enjoyed it. The people were really nice despite stereotypes. And I think it was a really cool uh, little trip. Now is the part where I get my black pen. This is the time where, of course, you see all these empty spaces. I think about if I have created any goals 
this last year that I want to add onto my bucket list. And um, some of you might laugh at me for this one, but one of the goals that I re-remembered that I had, but I never I had never written down on this bucket list was to go see Kenny Chesney in concert. My number uh, 39 that I would like to add also is to visit South Africa. So my number 40 is to write a book. I'm currently working on a children's book manuscript that I'm wanting, I'm wanting to submit to publishers this month. And I just, I think I love literature so much and to be able to write a book and then share that with um, you know, people all over the world and young people and old people. I think it would just be such a great experience. Uh, I would love to see that happening. So number 40 and my last goal that I'm writing down for this year is to write a book. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I accomplished this year and some goals I came up with um, this past year. I I hope that you guys find this video as somewhat of an inspiration to make your own bucket list. So. I, I really encourage you guys to make your own bucket list, you know, get some long paper, have a sleepover, have you and your friends make your bucket list together, or make it in your own classroom, or just do it um, as a fun nighttime activity while you're watching TV, you know, get active a little bit, right? As always, please like and subscribe, and if you haven't already, please visit me at thetravelingkimchi.com. There's a lot of articles that I write there that I don't make YouTube videos for, so you could be missing out on some really awesome stuff. So as always, see you guys next time and let's accomplish some goals this 2015. This is the Traveling Kimchi. Bye!